Welcome back guys. <laughs> Today's video tutorial is based on how you can recreate this crescent shaped gathered cap sleeve and um, it's a structured statement sleeve that you can add to your dress, blouse or whatever you have in mind and you don't really need even need to like add any interfacing to give it that tailored or structured look because the sleeve is elegant all on its own like <laughs> right now if you haven't yet um, subscribed to my channel please tap the subscribe button tap the like button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials <laughs> So first, I'm going to trace my basic sleeve block out of this. This is my basic sleeve block, so I'm going to trace it. I'm going to trace it out. So first things first, I'm going to measure four inches from the sleeve edge right here. I measure four inches this way, four inches this way. Make sure you follow the curve of your sleeve head. So now that I have that, I'm going to measure one and a quarter inches from this point here downwards. Then from here, I measure one and a quarter inches downwards. I measure one and a quarter inches downwards also. Then you connect. Then you divide this place and this place into two and you divide this place and this place into two then you mark the middle. If I have four inches here, so what I'm going to have here will be two inches. So now that that is done, I'm going to cut this open from the sleeve head here. I'll cut it open from there to that point and then from that point to this point and then from this point to the other point. Now that I have this, I'm going to cut this open but um, not to the end um, and then also cut that open but not also to the end. You can leave like um, a few centimeters. Then you place this on a new piece of paper and then I'm going to be spreading it out. So you are going to um, spread the first one out in such a way that this point here touches um, this curve right here. Then you are going to measure the space between this one that you spread out and then you spread out the second one exactly the same way. So I have a quarter inch right here so I'm going to spread this out exactly the same way. So from here, from this point here, I'm going to mark 4 inches up. So exactly the way I've spread it out here, I'm going to do the same for this part too. So I'm going to connect a line from here to this point here and draw a straight line from here upwards to this point. Remember to make sure everything you have here measures one and a quarter inches. And then you do the same for the other side too. Now once you are done with the second part, um, excuse the double line I have there, that was just like a slight mistake. Um, make sure the straight line you have here measures four inches and then check for the other one too. So yeah. I'm just going to cut it out now and then I'll show you. Now I'm going to slash this line all the way to my elbow. Now I'm going to draw a straight line on a fresh new piece of paper. Then I'm going to place my pattern on this new piece of paper. So at this point right here in the middle, I'm going to spread it out by 3 inches um, here and also 3 inches at the other side. You can even spread it out by um, more than 3 inches. It all depends on how um, wide or full you want the puff 
to be or how much gathers you want on your sleeve so i've decided to go for three and a half inches on both sides please remember to mark this point here that is at your sleeve head right here before you even spread it out at all so you mark that point out on your pattern now i'm going to spread this part out So at the sleeve head point we marked earlier, I'm going to raise it up by three and a half inches. Then I'll connect um, this way and then I'll also connect this one also this way. So this completes the pattern. Now all I have to do now is add um, half inch allowance to my panels like that point right there. And also at this point I'll add half inch to the sleeve head right here and also at this side and at this side too then at this point i add half inch um that is the point to be attaching to the armhole and at the other side then one inch at the side and then yeah so now i'm just going to cut all of this out now so you can see what it looks like full sized guys after cutting it out of your fabric uh, make sure you mark the midpoint of your sleeve head here this part here so this is the midpoint of my sleeve head so now to show the first thing you are going to be doing is to um, join these two panels together right sides together so and then you sew by half inch that is the half inch allowance you added to your pattern so I'm just going to be pinning this down just so you see how it looks so once you sew this down i'm only going to pin it just so that you can see how it's sewn i'm not exactly going to sew it but once you pin once you sew it down by half inch you open the seams up right here and then and then you iron it flat so if you want to like finish the raw edges of this you then go ahead to finish the raw edges on your um over edge machine overlock machine rather so yeah this is this now once you are done with that you place this part right here you place it at the midpoint here the midpoint of your um the midpoint you marked earlier the midpoint of your sleeve head you place this right here in the middle and then you pin down then from this side right here you begin to gather this let me turn it upside down then you begin to gather this this way this way until you get to the midpoint right here then you sew down and then you do the same also for the other side then you pleat you can either pleat or gather so you pleat or gather till you get to the middle point right here so everything has to be like the same size as your sleeve head here i hope you get the drift let me do it again so you can see so this is it join your panels then you iron flats you iron flats then you pick this and place right at the midpoint here you know this is our sleeve head so you pick this right at the mid parts here and then you pin down then you begin to gather this this SS this SS bit here you begin to gather like towards the midpoint here once you are done you do the same also for this side so I'm going to pleat it now and this completes it you can see that right here so now I'm going to turn it inside out or before you do that you sew your you sew your under arm right here so you sew this down by one inch the one inch you added earlier and then basically you turn it inside out and that will be all so I'm going to put this on my mannequin right now just so that you can see what it's going to look like so this is what the finished product will look like so this is the part 
you'll be attaching to the armhole um, of your dress or blouse so you'll be attaching this part to the armhole of your dress or blouse so you can see so i'm going to place this on my mannequin right now just so that you can see what the fit looks like and that's it guys a crescent shaped gathered cap sleeve <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so before tap the like button if you found um, this tutorial helpful and um, just so people like you can also um, find um, this video you can also turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos when I post them <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>